Okay, so I'm going to make an official post about this, but I'm starting my new project. I'm going to make a Queen of Hearts cosplay from Alice in Wonderland. So I think I'm just going to do these little vlog things. I think they were fun. I did it for my aerial puff dress. I thought they were fun. So I'm going to do it now. I'll do it again. So I have already started it. I'm about a week in. So I'm going to show you what I have so far. So I have a mock-up for a pair of stays I'm going to make. So I have... I just like flatlined it because I need to like practice doing the bony channels because I've never actually made a pair of stays before. Um, this could be neater, but I have these are going to be um, paneers. Um, so I need to make those. I'm going to finish flatlining them. That's like my biggest goal for tonight. Over in that corner, I have that pile of fabric that's cut out is going to be a chemise. Um, those aren't normally red, but I thought it'd be fun for, for it to be red. I also have some swatches from Silk Baron that I have to go through because I'm going to decide what I'm going to use for the main dress. I got this book for Christmas. It's the 18th century dressmaking book from American Duchess. So um, there's some patterns in here that I'm going to use for like, this petticoat right here for my um, cosplay. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to make the bloomers that she wears like under her dress um I, don't know, I haven't decided on it but i did buy a pattern for it i also bought this jewelry here um that's gonna be just some accessories with some christmas money and finally i got these um shoes from american duchess they were a christmas present for my mom Okay, so I just finished flatlining the fabric for the paneers. I'm actually going to put this to the side for a little bit and keep working on the stays mock-up. I'm going to um, start marking out the boning channels next. <laughs> 